Hunter comes into Horvath. The Earthquakes trying to break a 1-1 deadlock. Horvath is tripped up by Faria. 17 minutes and 30 seconds to play. Julie, this has been one of the best games I think we have seen at Spartan Stadium think, in the last three years. I think this is one of the best, best games that Quakes have played. No whistle. Bestie diving couldn't. And here's Horvath. Joseph Horvath to George Best. Back to Mark Lindsay. Lindsay, he can shoot from there. He does. Oh! By Lindsay. Oh. What you a know, great goal. That goal by Horvath from 33 yards out, that was almost the equal of that, Julie. Yeah, that was a great goal. That ball was from at least 30 yards out. Boy, Mark Lindsay really on Clark to one there. The newest quick. Lindsay just wound up and drilled it on a dead run past the diving Turner inside that left post. And the Earthquakes have gone up 2-1. to one. It was about 25 yards out. I was going to say about 25, Julie. I think you're right. Mark Lindsay. News 10 Sports with Rich Funky. And good evening. Our pre-World Cup series on soccer continues tonight with a look at two international soccer stars brought to Rochester by one team, the Lancers. Rick Hager spoke with Joe Horvath, a former Hungarian national team member. I spoke with Francisco Escos, who was an assistant coach for Argentina in the 1986 World Cup. Francisco is 51 now. While his wife works as a city school administrator, the former captain and assistant coach spends much of his time taking care of the house and helping his daughter, Karina, become a medal-winning Special Olympian. 20 years ago, Escos was in his prime and posing with Pele. As captain of the Lancers, he led Rochester to the NASL semifinals, where they lost to the Cosmos in 1977. In 1986, he was an assistant coach for Argentina and helped his native country win the World Cup. And he says there's nothing like it. For one month, the world stopped. In Argentina, when Argentina play, nobody working. All the factory, everything is closed. If Brazil is eliminated for the, for the World Cup, people jump it from the 20th floor and die. So I, I can give you where it's uh, <laughs> soccer, uh, the World Cup. So Francisco looks forward to watching the tournament on TV. But his enthusiasm for soccer is hard to control. Just ask Karina. Uh, I try to tell my dad, calm down. Sit down, be there, enjoy, and watch TV. You have to be part of the family. But he still doesn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> There's a spark in your eye when you talk soccer, Francisco. It's still there. I mean, well, I can you know, say. this is what I did all my life. I was professional for 23 years, practice every day, and this is my life, soccer. And it's this love for the game that remains in the heart of another former Lancer. 45-year-old Joe Horvath still plays soccer. He says the game is in his blood. Back in the 70s, the Hungarian-born Horvath was one of the world's best players. 26 years old, 1975. I have a Hungarian best player and a European best player. He left Hungary to play professional soccer in Germany in 1976. Then came an offer from the Rochester Lancers in 78 thought there'd be big money and more fame. Instead, the pro leagues in the U.S. faded, and Joe moved from Rochester to Washington to San Jose to New Jersey, Buffalo, and back again to Rochester. I left uh, Hungary in 1975, and I'm uh, looking for my family, better life. And you know me talking about uh, Lancer, the good money. So, yes, I'm happy I come to the United States. You know, I get... Uh, Little problem, but uh, you know, it's sport anyway is up and down. America. <laughs> Today, Joe works at Kodak. He and his wife Sue live in Spencerport, and on Friday nights, he plays in the over 30 league. You still have the touch, you still have the kick. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, he scored goal too. <laughs> Our series continues tomorrow at 6. The numbers of people playing soccer locally and nationally are astounding, and it may finally be translating into...